What's up guys, Manny from Water Million and it's time to dress up this R1M a little more. Guys, the R1M is back and as you see, I'm holding this beautiful carbon piece in my hand. This is the rear subframe cover or the undertail cover, which is this pl plastic piece here. And if you've been following along, we've been switching everything that's plastic over on this bike to carbon fiber. So I could probably say death to plastic at this point. But we're on the final stretch with this project. We're almost finished. We're just doing some of the touch-up pieces that we want to do to finish the overall look. There's a couple more functional parts that we're doing, which I think this is probably lighter than the plastic out there. We're gonna find out, I'll weigh them. I'm wondering myself, and I'm sure you are too. If you've watched the previous videos, we did put these carbon side panels on that we were missing the stickers. I'm amazed how quickly we were able to get them. We have them here, I'm gonna to try to apply them on there. We did use Nicholas's help last time to do our SP2 project because it was a lot more extensive work that was needed in terms of the vinyl wrap that we use on that bike. And if you guys haven't seen it, go take a look. That thing was a masterpiece. Let's get to it. Let me start tearing the back end apart. Let's switch this. Oh, and before I forget, this piece is still not available yet. This is technically a prototype piece. If you haven't seen it, we used it on our 50th anniversary that we built for our special customer. It had the piece on it as well. And we had an extra one that we had and we're gonna get it on there just to test the fit and everything. I, I don't think it's gonna be an issue in terms of anything in terms of fitting. But either way, I wanna make a note because you guys often ask, hey, how do we get these parts that you're using? It's usually always in the link in the description below. But in this case, you guys have to be a little more patient so that we have these in masses to be able to supply you guys with it. Either way, let me get to it. Let's switch this over and let's see how it looks. I don't know if you guys heard, we're getting a 2023 M1000RR. It should be here next week. And I'm really excited for it. I often say the BMWs have no character, but uh, I think if that bike doesn't have character, we should, we're gonna be able to give it character. go this is our plastic piece let's weigh it three twenty three three twenty two no three fifteen there you go hey I thought the carbon was heavy and I was gonna be like hey I'm still doing it for the looks anyways but the carbon is seven grams lighter it's very nominal, but really this piece is for the looks and that's why in the beginning of the video we said let's dress this bike up and uh, let's put it back on there. Just, down just like this. It's gonna help us get this in here. One thing I wanna do is you're never ever gonna see this on the bike, but I'm putting some masking tape here because that carbon is gonna get it's getting, it's not going to, but it's getting really close to the subframe and I don't want to scratch it. I'm just testing everything guys to see how the fit is. Actually the fit is really good. I had to make a small modification so that the tail light slides up to a nice position because I really want to make sure that everything is fitting right. But again, with carbon, it's very normal for you to do some sort of a fitting if you don't like the fit or not even don't like the fit. But if you're really picky that you want something that is truly 100%, um, you have to kind of do things like this. It doesn't matter who's the manufacturer. but. 
I think it looks really good. I'm just gonna try to put that tail tidy back on there, put everything back together so that we have ourselves a beautiful R1M again. Tail tidy is on. All we gotta do is plug our wiring harness in and then check to see which one is right and left. So let's try this left turn signal, right turn signal, and we're good. So there we go guys, our beautiful carbon fiber, I guess I'm gonna call it a subframe cover just to keep things sim simple, that's on. And now when you look at it, you, you kind of need light to appreciate carbon fiber sometimes, that's why I have this flashlight in my hand. It looks pretty good. And the fitment was spot on. And what I love is they keep these little arrow pieces that were supposed to be on there on the bike and this is gonna shine outside in the sun. And the other part is, don't forget, this piece was plastic and now it's all carbon. It's looking amazing. Now let's get to the next part, which is gonna be applying our stickers. I'm gonna give it a try. Let's hope I don't mess it up. I bought two pairs in case I did a mistake. So let me try it. If we can't seem to apply some stickers, maybe we'll have to call Nicholas again. But for now, let me grab my stickers and let's try to apply them on the bike. Let's see which piece this is. So technically this is gonna go right here like this. So I just grabbed my stock piece and I have this piece here. The only thing is the color seems a little off. Maybe there's some sort of a protective film over this that I'm not removing yet, but I'm just checking to see the fitment on how it's supposed to be and how much room I'm supposed to leave here. And then now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it on the bike. I did the best I can in terms of aligning it. some air bubbles I'm gonna apply some heat to it and we're gonna to try to get those air bubbles out if you guys can tell that's not Manny Manny's here I told you guys if I mess up we're gonna call Nicholas and there he is So guys, it's looking amazing. And as I said, he made it really look easy. He, Nicholas does PPF and wraps on very high-end cars. He's done some bikes. We showed it on the SP2 series. And if you're wondering what PPF is, it's paint protection film. I wish I had it on this bike before I ever rode it because I put a lot of chips in this carbon, especially the carbon body work gets a lot of chip on it. But what we'll do is that we'll put his Instagram in the description below, go show him some love and maybe go like some of his content. Either way, I'm not gonna take more of his time. Now we're gonna install our carbon fiber lever guard on this bike. So thank you, Nick. 
I appreciate Thank your help. You for your trust. Now the final part for today is our brake lever guard by Full Six. These are their new Leo brake lever guards. They're available in gloss and if you want in satin. We have these for the Ducati guys. I know it's not a big, uh, big thing to put satin carbon on BMWs or your Yamahas, but this is also an option. And again, if you watch our SP2 series, we do mix satin and clear coated gloss carbon together. But in this case, I think just because this is probably gonna be the only part that would be satin, it doesn't look bad, but I think I'm gonna use the gloss one on this one as well. And when you buy these, oh, by the way, there's also the clutch side and they come with these adapters and they have some expanding parts inside. And I'll, let me put these together and I'll show you how it works. But as a rule of thumb, usually there's two sizes of inner diameters and these expand to the, to the size. Before you start off, what you could do is that you could grab one of them. You see, this is, um, so this is the one for the smaller diameters and this is one, the one for the thicker one. And just right here, this, this one fits fairly well in here. We're gonna use this one and we're gonna put it together and we'll get it on the bike. And what we do is we just feed our bolt through it and then feed this knurled side in and then grab your solid side This can get a little tricky because the thread is cut in an angle, but once you get it going, it's pretty straightforward. As you tighten this bolt, these two slide against each other, which you see this starts expanding. And then this is how it actually grips inside your bars. All you gotta do is feed it in there. And don't go crazy tightening this, I've seen I don't know how, but some people have cracked their handlebars while they tighten these expanding joints. As long as it's tight in there, it's gonna be pretty secure. I'm just gonna check the angle of it. Maybe I wanna actually loosen it a little and angle it upward. And one final touch is inside the bag, you're gonna see Full Six sends you a little sticker and I'm sure some of you guys are saying, this guy is trying to put on stickers again. There you go, I think that was a success. That looks pretty good. So that's it guys for the R1M for this episode, but we're not done with the R1M. There's some finishing touches that we still wanna do, but as you guys saw, this carbon fiber subframe cover really, really finished off the tail of the bike. And with the help of Nicholas, we got these stickers on and, and I'm just amazed how big of a difference it made to make this bike look more and more finished. There's a couple more things that we wanna do off the top of my head. I already know that I wanna address this top tank cover. We're gonna put the carbon one on there and try to match the livery of the bike. These two finishes don't match because the carbon tank is a brush finish and this is plastic. You can't really do a brush finish on plastic, but we're gonna find out a solution to see how close we could get to it, if we can get to it. But at the time when we put the tank cover on, I know a lot of people are gonna say, oh, that doesn't match. But hey, it didn't match from the factory, I said it now. Another thing that I, I keep seeing is our rear brake reservoir. We're gonna delete this with our master cylinder change. We just haven't gotten there yet. There was other things that I wanted to address, but I think that's it for now. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Until next time, guys, have a good one.